In this video, I want to prove what the variance of a constant matrix A times our random vector X is actually equal to. Because remember, for the sort of scalar case, we found that the variance of a constant A times our random variable X was actually equal to A squared times the variance of X. So we're kind of looking for an analogous form, but for the case of a vector rather than a scalar. So let's first of all remind ourselves of what it actually means to take the variance of a random vector. We defined it in the last video as being equal to the expectation of that random vector, which in this case is a times x minus its mean. Well, we know that its mean is just going to be a times the mean of x itself. So let's just call that mu. And we got that just from this relationship up at the top, which we actually proved in the last part one video. So that's the sort of first parenthesis in our sort of variance term. And then the second term is just a x minus a mu all transposed, because that's what we actually define our variance as being equal to. So from this form, it's not difficult to simplify this into things that we actually already know. What we can do is we can define this as being equal to the expectation of a times x minus mu. So that's all we've done there is we've just taken out our constant matrix A. And then in the second term, we're actually going to take out our um, matrix A, but because we're taking it transposed, we're actually going to get x minus mu all transposed times A transposed because we know that when we take the transpose of a product, the order actually inverts. So that's why I've actually brought this A transpose out to the front here. So that's why it isn't actually in between these two parentheses here. It's actually at the end because the order of um, multiplication when we take the transpose actually inverts. So because of the fact that we know that the matrix A is just a constant, that means we can just take it outside of our expectation. So we're just going to have this as being equal to A times the expectation of, now we're just going to have X minus mu times X minus mu all transposed. And then we're going to finally multiply it by A transposed. And finally, we notice that this term in the middle here is just the variance of our random vector X. So we know that the variance of a times x is just defined as a times the variance of x times a transposed. So that's the an analogous form which our sort of variance takes on for the case where we're considering a random vector rather than a just scalar quantity.